all these new slaps. We got all these new jet tags. First one to comment gets a free jet tag and a slap. <laughs> you guys did it so hard! <laughs> Hey, what up? Welcome, <laughs> welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> you guys have been killing it on the premium jet tags. This is just black jet tags. We have the red ones and then the mix. People that bought two. We finally got the Supercar Suspect t-shirts. Came in yesterday too, so we're getting those out. Dope products on the way to you guys. So I'm gonna finish up packing up these jet tags and Supercar Suspect shirts. And I believe the other side has a 2018 Camaro, so let's go over there. What's up guys? So we are making the uh, Camaro, the, the 2018 Camaro SS, that's the 6th gen I believe, and we are making overlays for the, the entire car. So if you guys got one of these, make sure you comment down below. This customer specifically wants the uh, emblems all whited out. So we got this one to take care of and the back one, uh, which is just a tiny bit smaller, but super easy to do. There is a little bit of texture on it, so we might run into problems there, but we're gonna find out as soon as we get that overlay on there. Yeah, I templated it already. Yeah, so we can do this for sure. Okay. We just have to get the pre-cut, right? We are unable to do the outside. Gotcha. What was his day? That was a test. <laughs> so he asked me to wrap the emblem. I've seen him done before, but the newer Chevy emblems have a, a texture to them. So I wanted to see what that looked like, so I showed him. This was just a quick wrap. If you see, it's not cut perfectly. I just did it to test it out. I wanted to see if the white matched, and I wanted to see what the texture looked like. This is the first overlay pack right here. We got the emblems. That is the front one and the rear one. Uh, as you can see, we're still making the tiny adjustments to make it perfect for you guys. That's that third brake light. We got this uh, fog light or, or DRL here. I don't know what, what that piece is exactly. I'm assuming it's just a fog light. And then you also have this tiny little chrome piece. So I also templated that. We're gonna see how that comes out. We got the whole headlight. You got your front and rear reflectors as well as that really complex tail light piece. So we're gonna see how that works out. So everything so far is so, so close. There's just teeny tiny little adjustments to make it perfect. We literally have parts that are just a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch off. It's super tiny, but we want to make sure it's perfect for you guys. Just kidding, that was actually really easy. That laid down way, way easier than I thought it. All right, Christian, what's the next process? Now I'm just making those tiny adjustments that I was just talking about on the computer so then we can uh, get them recut and should be the final final product. After that. All right, so we got our uh, final pieces here. We can go hand them off to the professionals and we'll let them install them. Hey, wait, there's a professional right there. Oh, I mean Oh, you guys are full. I gotta deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got all these new slaps. We got some uh, some jet tags. First one to comment gets a free one. Boom. Oh. All right, hello. What's about to happen right now? It's behind the scenes. It's about to get fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> John, where's the fan? Yeah. It's because of how you have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so you see, that's what really goes on. There's so much footage that we film here at Premium that it doesn't even make it in. John and I try to do our best to put everything we can as possible. Sometimes there's things. We are looking for a new intern for Lowe's job. So if you guys are interested in taking your spot, all you have to do is have a bad attitude. So I've got a couple small things I'm gonna do before I hand it over to Mitch and them to be able to do the, the final bigger pieces because I wanna make sure those are perfect. Um, just so you guys know, if you don't know already, I mean, I'm not a pro at this. I'm just, just the guy that designs them. 
I'm gonna do the, the super easy stuff. You guys can easily, easily do this yourself. This is no problem whatsoever. You could probably do it with your eyes closed. I did the other side already, just in case I screwed it up. What's going on, Mitch? I haven't seen you all vlog. I'm trying to avoid you, bro. What are you doing? Well, this Camaro is getting worked on. Uh, right now, we are finishing up the chrome delete on Kia Sorento. So I did all the door handles and to fold those off, wrap those. Uh, now doing the grill while Daniel finishes up the window trims, and then this one's going out. And then I'm going to be focusing my attention back on this one and helping Christian with those installs there. And then wrapping the day up with finishing up the quarter panel that I laid on the Subi over there. So. The one that was supposed to be shown? Right, the one that, I, I don't, was, media team dropped the ball. Not the first time, right? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, we are all finished with this piece. We are gonna move on to the reflectors here and just go around the car. Edwin? They say you're not in the vlog enough, bro. I don't know what to do. I, I can't do like the hidden part. So I basically cleaned the shop, cleaned the toilet. No, I don't want to say that, do I? <laughs> but I kind of do like all the other jobs that others don't want to do. I weed, I prep the cars, and other little things that anyone could do basically. Hello? Hello? Melissa. Huh? You really what? like to talk, don't you? Huh? You really like to talk, don't you? What do you mean for? I, I want to talk. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. Why do they call you Dodge? Because I got a Hemi. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on next? We're finishing up the chrome delete on the Sorento. We did the handles, we did the grill. Last thing we're doing is all of the window trim. We're gonna get these knocked out really quick and then this car is out the door. Oh, I got you had it. I got a headache. I'm trying to keep my head cool. Oh, <laughs> What are you doing? I got a headache. I'm pretty sure it doesn't help. Here, yes, me it help does. You out. Ah! How are these coming along, Daniel? Don't talk to me. Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just trying to make your job hard today. Dude, everything came out perfect. Christian today? Made, yeah. You made my job hard for the last four months, bro. You know how much I have cutting <laughs> I have to do to make you look good? I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> as soon as this camera gets turned off, I'm stabbing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All the pre-cuts came out really nice. Christian did a really good job designing them. So what we did today was, we did the headlight tint, we did the DRL tint, we did the badge in white, we also did all of the reflectors all the way around. We also did the rear tail lights, the inserts where the clear was at. And then, uh, what was the last part? Third we brake did, light? On the no, third brake light got done. And then also the reflectors on the diffuser got done. So I just talked about everything. If you guys want to see them, go to the website, premiumautosiling.com. All of them are pre-cut, very easy to install. All of these pre-cuts were really easy. They were, none of them were hard. I'd say the hardest one is this one of all of them because it has a little bit of a, a bow on it. I think I'll sell them in a four pack. So if you guys do buy them, you have a couple tries on making it work. But look at the front end. Just look at how stealth the front end came out. Smoked headlights, the white badge, the DRLs. We also blacked out some of the chrome. There was a chrome strip right here. We blacked that out with gloss black. Can't even tell it's done, it looks all OEM. Today we just did a quick project on the Kia Sorento, but we did, starting in the back, quick D-badge on it, super quick, easy. 
Then moving forward, we did all of the window trims. All the window trim trims were chrome. We took them to satin black. Also, all of the door handles come chrome, which not a huge fan of, so we took them all over to satin black as well. And then moving forward to the front of the car, the outer bezel of the grill, as well as these pieces down here, they're kind of like a light gray that kind of doesn't really go with the car. So we took those over to satin black as well, just kind of darkening up the car, changing it up. Just kind of quick, cool modifications that really change the whole look of the car up. You don't want to close out the vlog? I don't want to. You know how I'm at closing. I can't do it. Am I ending this? Yeah. yeah. In the vlog.